After Effects CS5.5. It's very simple to use once you get the hang of it, and we'll be getting into some cameras. So, first, you want to go to a new comp, obviously, and you're going to go to Layer, New, Solid, doesn't matter what colour it is, but it's quite cool and black. So, first, you go to Effect up here, and you go all the way down to Trap Code, and you go to Form. And it comes up with this weird white box thing. Now, for the effect we're going to be using, you go into base form here, and you increase the size of X to the side. You do the same with the Y, and we'll worry about the Z later. Uh, we might want to decrease the particles in the X to. Not too though. That's quite cool. And the particles in Y. So when we really ain't get into it, you go to particle here, and you can mess around with the feather. But the thing is, you need to turn up the size a little bit. And where it says particle type here, we're going to make star. So that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Um, you can change the size random. In fact, I might turn up the schools in X. Not too many particles as otherwise it just gets ridiculous. Okay, so you want to change it to like a nice blue sort colour. Put that on. And another cool effect you can add is this disperse and twist here. And you can change the disperse. Twist doesn't really work in this one. As twist makes it like DNA and we don't really want it like that. Well yeah. So we set that back to zero if you've messed around with that. So the disperse is what you want, it like mucks them up a little bit. So that is what it should look like so far. Right, so far there's nothing, it's just your particles moving around and nothing at all, it's boring. So you're going to want to go to layer and new and then camera. It doesn't matter here, that's up to you. Okay, so you're going to want to go up here, hold down your mouse and click orbit camera tool. Make sure this is selected, it makes life a lot easier. Go down to camera and then go to camera options no sorry um, transform and stopwatch the position and go to the end and you can rotate this around it's like a 3D space okay that will do now as you can see There are a few gaps, so you might, that's it, this is why you will increase the size in Z so it covers up these gaps where you can see the layers. So go back to your black solid and you change the particles in Z. Again, not too many, just enough to close up that gap. And that will do it. So this will take a while to render, so I'll just skip it. 
So you should end up something similar to this. So right now that's the basics of form. In the next tutorial I'll be getting into things like the audio reactions and fractal field etc. So thank you for watching.